Oh my. Oh my. There we go. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Feels like a nicer fish. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Salt Life's channel. I'm Emmanuel Williams, and in today's video, we're heading offshore of Miami looking for some blackfin tunas. Then we're gonna come back home, clean them up, and cook them up. I'm taking you guys with me. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. So we just came to this hump here. We're dropping down a jig, trying to see what we can get done. There's been a bunch of tunas around in this late afternoon. So that's why we're out here late today. Let's see if we can't catch some tunas. There we go. Got something on, guys. There we go. Drop the big jig down. Whatever it is, swimming up. Some tunas down there. <laughs> yeah. Nice little black fin. Ate a big jig. Alrighty, guys. Exactly what we were looking for this afternoon. Beautiful black fin tuna on the slow pitch jig on the bottom in about 450 feet of water. Such a beautiful fish. And this isn't the biggest one, but I promise to eat just as well. <laughs> Look at the size of that jig compared to him. <laughs> there we go, guys. So what we're gonna do is bleed this fish and get all of the blood out of its system. That's gonna make it a lot better eating. Alrighty, guys, so we're only allowed two tunas per person. And as you can see, I'm alone out here. So we're gonna run back to the spot, get the jig back down in the bottom. And then once you catch another one, we're just gonna troll around for the rest of the evening. Oh my. Oh my. There we go. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Feels like a nicer fish. Feels like a nicer fish, guy. Oh. Come on. We got a lot of sharks down here. So, want to get him up as quick as possible. Oh, nicer one. Nicer fish. Woo! You! <laughs> Hell yeah. There we go, guys. Definitely a nicer fish there on the slow pitch. Second fish of the day. We're only allowed two fish. So this is our last fish of the day. 
time to head to the hill. But first we're gonna troll around a little bit. Maybe we'll drop the jig, catch and release some more tunas. Cause they are chewing right now. Ew! Hit the bottom already. There we go. There we go. On bottom. Dude, I don't know. There's AJ's here. Thank God he didn't decide to leave. Whatever this is guys, got a little tired. So now we're working on him, bringing him up here. God, I'm begging you. Please let me land this fish with no sharks. I'm begging you God. Bent my jig and took my hook.
I was so connected. Look at that. Bent my jig, took my hooks. Oh, oh. oh. Oof, that hurts so bad. That hurts so bad, man. All we can do is get back down there, guys. Not really much we can do about this. That hurt so bad, dude. So the plan was to jig a little bit, catch our limit of tuna, and then troll around a little bit. But after that heartbreak, guys, we're heading to the hill. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Alrighty, guys, we are back home. We have one of these black fin tunas here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and show you guys how I do it. So first things first, you're gonna come right under the peck fin, and we're just gonna outline that stomach area. Just like that. Then we're gonna take our knife. We're gonna run it up into the fish's head. Just like that. And tunas have a lateral line right here where their fin lays. We're gonna take our knife and we're gonna cut all the way down that line along their whole fillet. Just like that. Now that you've done that, we're gonna outline our tuna just like you would any other fish. And tunas have a real tough spot right up here at the top of the head. You're gonna have to cut through. Now we're gonna take our knife and we're just gonna knock that fillet away. Just like that. So as you guys can see, we have our cut here. And then we have our cut down here in the middle of the fish. Now we're just gonna cut, cut down here at the tail so we can fully detach that fillet. Just gonna lift up, just like that. Just keep cutting away. And there you go, top loin of our black fin tuna. Super simple, super easy, just like that. So we're just gonna come right down here, outline our fish along the bottom, just like that. And we're gonna take our knife in here, we're gonna cut down, just keep cutting down. So we're just gonna keep cutting down along that backbone there, right over the ribs. And then there you go, our bottom loin. And as you guys can see, we knocked off all the meat there. The only remaining meat is this collar area here. But as for our filet, we got all of that fresh tuna meat. So now we're back with our top loin here. We're gonna go ahead and cut out that bloodline there. Just come alongside it. Just knock it completely off. There we go. So now we have all of the bloodline all knocked off of our filet. We're gonna come in with our knife. We're gonna take nice pieces, just like that, right off of our fish. Now we're gonna come in for our next piece of our filet. Boom, just like that. Beautiful piece of blackfin tuna. Got all the bloodline cut out of there. Just come right in here. And there goes our final piece of our black fin going in our bag. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same process for the rest of our fish, and I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Alrighty guys, we are in the outdoor kitchen and we have a beautiful piece of black fin tuna that just came out of the freezer. Now I'm not really a sushi guy or a guy to eat a lot of fish raw, but today we're gonna try something a little different. So this piece of fish just got out of the freezer, and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut it up the pieces like this. Now that we have them in pretty big pieces, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them into smaller pieces. And this is not a set recipe. I'm pretty much just freestyling here. I took a couple recipes and I'm gonna put them together. And whatever the outcome is, is whatever we're gonna eat. So we're just cutting up our tuna in small 
pieces. Alrighty guys, so we have all of our tuna all chopped up in really small pieces. Now we're gonna get all of our ingredients in our bowl. So like I said, this is not a set recipe. I'm pretty much just freestyling. So if it tastes good, it tastes good. We're gonna come in with about that much soy sauce. And then we have some sesame oil. We're gonna come in with about that much. I've never used sesame oil. I don't know how strong it is, so we'll figure out. And now we have our sriracha mayo. A little spicy, but nothing crazy. About that much. Now let's just mix this up. It smells pretty good to me. Let's get our tuna in. So now we have our tuna in. Just gonna mix that all together. So I got some bagel crisp here. They're roasted garlic. And that is what we're gonna be putting our tuna on. So we'll add a couple of those right in here. And we're gonna come in, give it one last mix. We're gonna come in and add that. I don't like too much fish, so we're not gonna put too much. This one could use a little more. And we're just gonna add a little bit of our tuna to every single one of these crisps here. Now we're gonna come in with a little bit of black sesame seeds. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, our blackfin tuna crisps. Now it is time to try. Which one are we gonna choose? There you go. There you go. Wow. Wow. So the first thing I noticed is that you literally cannot taste fish at all. So if you're one of those people who really like to taste the flavor of the fish in your sushi dish, this is not for you, but if you're a person like me, where you don't really like the texture of raw fish and you don't like to taste too much of the fish, this is perfect. Cheers. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of this dish. If you guys hung out with me for this whole video, thank you so much. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.